you won't believe what happened. The drama continues. It continues. The drama. <sighs> okay. So this one here is in regards to <clears throat> oh shit. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. My um uh, one of my twins, like my laptop was uh sitting up right like this, and my uh the oldest twin did like this to it. And it's it's did like it just like flipped it like like it was a MacBook or something or one of those you know, one of those laptops that fold over into like a tablet or something. It don't work like that. So I got to get a, another um, laptop because it's still kind of. Anyway, so so I thought I was done with the uh, what we call in the Downey House possible loss, right? I came up to kind of give everybody an update. I came up with this. All, well, I didn't. My wife did. But I I was fine with the deal. I was gonna pay him 12 grand, all right? Out of the money I had, he was gonna get 12 grand of that. I was fine with that. I was like, still making like nine grand after I did my numbers. I was like, fine, that's good, man. And then I was willing to give him another 12 grand based on the jobs that I received. So I could receive a job, not take it, or receive a job and take it, right? So my goal was to try to get all large commercial jobs that are high dollar and just give them a percentage of it. Like one, literally one job, I could give it back to them and make the same amount on that job. That's how profitable these jobs are. It's just crazy, right? Let me make the screen bigger. It's how profitable these jobs are, right? So, it was extra it was gonna be extra i was really doing it to help out to really keep the relationship intact to really show them that i'm i'm here to to to, to build on this relationship and all that oh my gosh man some people just just don't so i uh i was getting some messages before i was heading down there and said hey you know um are you are you come the first, first, wait a minute, this morning, I sent a message saying, I must, I will be by today to get paid. And I'll be down there at 3 p.m. Have the check ready. That's the message I sent off to the manager, not the owner, the manager. Right? So, um, he says, okay, you'll have it ready. Perfect. Well, I get a, some text messages start coming in around two o'clock. Like, oh yeah, hey, are you done with that project? I was like, oh yeah, green project, I'm done with it, you know? So when they ask that, I'm like, oh yeah, they're gonna try to try to keep some retention, right? So you try to, you try to keep retention if you're not done, just to make sure I'm done. I was like, dude, they never kept retention from any of the job. I, literally, he'll pay me before I'm done with the job, before he gets paid, it's crazy. So I was like, oh, I'm done with one, but not the other. This is why I got left on the other. It's not much, right? Man, I'm tired too. So um, he says, okay. He says, uh, I says, dude. I, so I text back after he asked me that, the completion thing, I text back like, dog, I, I need to pick up that check, that 75% today. Like I must get that today. Cause I'm like, if you want to keep whatever you want to keep, then you can chalk that up to the 12 grand I'm giving you. That that's what you can give me that 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 75 percent. Give me that, and the other 25 percent you keep. That's what you can say is you as retention. Okay, that's what that's where I'm coming from. Um. So anyway, I didn't say all that. I just said, hey, I I, I must pick up a check today. Sit. So he says, I'm tired of being a middleman. That's what he says in the text. I'm tired of being a middleman. Um, and and 
one he says today is one thing and tomorrow is something else i said oh man that doesn't sound good so i'll, I'll see you soon so anyway so i got there around four o'clock sit down in the office and we get to talking do you know what this dude tells me the owner so it's me the owner and the project manager guy and we're talking the owner says so he has all my 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 all my paperwork my invoices right it's only two jobs but it's a lot of paperwork because there's uh there's a uh a, a extras that i filled out um and then there's um invoices and then there's another invoice where i created it that shows the invoice the extra and then whatever deductions or draws that i received right so i'm like um so oh so 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 i'm sitting there right and this dude is going over these numbers right and he's like yeah this one and this is a little redundant and this this right here this don't make sense and this i need a little more de he's nick picking my invoice like literally like at the ninth hour He's picking my invoice. Mind you, he has, he's been avoiding my phone calls and my emails for the last two weeks, right? And I've been trying to come up with solutions to give him the budge. But now he gets involved right now at the time that he needs to be honoring the agreement that we made, right? And he's figuring out a way to take away money from me by Nick picking my invoice and basically telling me that my my numbers don't make any sense and it's hard for him to wrap his around. I let him talk for like five minutes, dog, right? Dude, I okay, so back in the day, th this wasn't that long ago, I would have literally like banged on him, like, like, dude, like, what? Dude, you, first of all, you don't need to be in that position. Second of all, you're a fucking idiot. And third of all, Pay my motherfucking money, dog. Like, shut your up and pay my money, dude. Sit. But um, I didn't do that. Um, I am a new person. I'm a new person. Okay. So he tells me that, right? He's he's Nick picking my invoice. He talks, so I let him talk and I finish. He finished. And I said, listen, man. First of all, I came here for one deal, and that's it. You're supposed to pay me 75% of the pay. That's why I sent you the email on. I said, I was willing to give you 24 grand, 12 grand now, and another 12 grand later. He said he didn't understand the, the, the 12 grand thing. We, I broke it down. Okay, 75% is these 12 grand left, right? Okay, so you keep that, right? Yeah. What does the email say? 12 grand. Okay. So 12 grand plus 12 grand is what? 24 grand. Okay. That that's where 24 grand is at. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know. This and that. I was like, well, if you would have answered your phone, your text messages, I could have personally told you myself. Oh, I, I was busy. I said, no, nah, don't even worry about that. Let's get back to these numbers. I said, listen, man. Um, um, basically he was nick picking my invoice so so basically he in within a few hours time because someone mentioned something to him that got him set on this he literally nick picked my invoice and had checks ready for 18 grand when he should have been paying me i think it was like 33 or 38 grand he had 18 grand there i'm like Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, you got things totally backwards. I came from the heart to, to try to help us both win. You're coming from a standpoint of how to take away from me so you win. No, 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 I'm not. Well, Tom, there's not one time you asked me, Tyrone, this is a losing job for both of us. How do we both win in this? There's not one time. You, he literally told me, he went through these invoices, came up with this total, and he was like, this is what I feel is fair. 
He was like, there's no other, he said, he literally said like, there's a, no other way I can see this going unless this is a severance pay, right? Basically, basically what he said is that there's no other way I can see this going, but the way I'm cal uh, calculating it for you, and if you don't see it that way, then consider this a severance pay and we're done. I told that dude, like, man, dude, I don't want to work for you ever again. Pay me everything in full. He said, well, what do you, what do you mean? Dude, and I explained to him again, I've been here dealing with this dude, Wilson, before you fired him. I've been dealing with his stuff this whole time, man. Been dealing with your internal politics, man. I'm the one who called the meeting um, uh, that you asked me, you asked me to call a meeting with the dude so you can call him out on his bull cracking echo. You asked me to call a meeting with him so you can, you're the owner. But I participated in all that. I said, the, the Long Beach job, man, the, um, the uh, LA job, dude, all those jobs I could have charged you extra money and I didn't. And now you're going to give me these extra charges here? It seemed like you forget about what has happened and you're so focused on the now and this little bitty money that you're, you're trying to screw me. No, 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 I'm not trying to screw you, Tyrone. I think I'm just being fair. No, being fair is figuring out how to pay, how to everyone gets paid here, okay? That's what's fair, man. Figuring out how everyone gets paid here. What you're doing, you're trying to duck from my, no, no, I didn't, no, you did. No, you did, and you are doing that. And it's not right, man. And you're not treating me fairly. And that's why I'm in business, so I can tell you, go bleep yourself, man. Because here it is, I came from a different standpoint and you're coming from the opposite end, which is not right at all. So I don't, I don't need to write my full check. I'm sorry, Tyrone, man, I came this way, man. I, I apologize, man, and I don't care. At this point, we're done, right? This is what I'm telling this dude, right? So um, he's like, man, he's trying to figure out these numbers. He's still doing calculations and all that, right? And I'm like, dude, I'm done, dog. I'm, I'm almost ready to take a breather because I'm so hot. I'm ready to like take a breather, right? So, ah, shit. So anyway, um, so I'm I'm literally ready to take a breather. I'm ready to go outside and, and just chill out for a little bit because I'm like livid. I'm whoosh. say, dude, I didn't come here to get a pile of crap taken in front of me. A uh, pile of crap taken in front of me, and then someone smashed my face in it. That's how I feel, man. Say, dude, I, I never had the intentions of having you lose at all. And that's, that has been your only intention since I sat down here. And this is bull crack knackle, man. Give me my full money, man. So I can get up out of here, man. Oh, Tyrone, man, come on, man. Let's, let's figure this thing out, man, and, and how we'll do this, man. And I don't want to see, you know, I, I like you. No, you don't. I told him, no, you don't. There you go. Well, you need to go use some other contractor. You go, go get the ones that you really like, man, that you would like to always use that don't give you no issues, no problems. Because you start bringing up contractors that don't give them no issues or problems. So you need you you need to use those guys all the time, man. And you, oh, excuse me. You need to go for it, man. Because I'm not I'm not for it. Nah, man. So in the end. They wound up talking me down after time. And basically, I asked the dude, was like, okay, so what number do you need to be at? And he literally couldn't tell me. He was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. And I kind of had a feeling from another conversation we talked about when I asked him, what is his overhead percentage? And he couldn't even tell me what it was. I was like, what do you mean? You, you don't know what it is. I was like, so you charge 30% or 40% or 30%. I 
I think for my jobs, you charge 40%, but I think on a regular, you charge 30%. I said, what is that broken down into? And he couldn't tell me. But we didn't kind of talk on it heavily. But I kind of had a feeling that he didn't know what. So you got owners out there that start with these percentages, and it's just been working because they're able to generate enough work for it to work. But they really don't even know what they're making. They just know they're making some money. Um, um, and they're just blindly running and building a company. That's what it comes down to. And that's what he was doing. I said, what, what's the number? He didn't even know a number. Couldn't even figure it out. He don't even have a, a number to even go after a percentage. I said, man, so I did some numbers real quick. I said, okay. So I said, okay, so uh, what was the amount you built for for the job? He gave it to me. Okay, let's see what 40% of that is. Okay, that's this much. Okay, um, how much did I bill you for? Okay, that's this much. Okay, that leaves this much left, right? And then you have to get this much to get to your 40%. Okay, so it's 11,000. All right, let's go to this job. All right, so how much is that? How much did you bill for that job? 47,000. Okay, so this is how much is left. Okay, so it came out to about 18 grand. 18 grand will put him back at the 40% he needed for each job. Originally, I was going to give him 24. Six, six grand more. I took away that. I said, pay my full. I don't care. I don't even have to even do any work with you. So this is the twist here. This is this is what happened here. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is crazy. I was like, man, this is how bad relate. I said, dude, Tom, I've been trying to get you involved in this project for a very long time. And now here you want to nitpick my invoice and get all the way involved? Oh, I've been busy and this and that. And uh, and this is another thing I told him. This this is another thing I told him. I said, Tom, you don't even know your you don't even know where your numbers need to be at for this job. I said, why? I said, if you don't know your numbers, why are you messing with my numbers? You got no right to mess with my numbers if you don't even know your number. What is your if you don't know your number? Why are you messing with my, like, what is your goal to mess with my number? Why, why are you, if you have no percentage or no goal and you don't know your number, why are you messing with someone else's number? And why are you just not trying to figure out how do we get to a solution and make everyone win? Who care, I, to be honest with you, I don't care about my invoice. Who cares about that invoice? Well, I want my money. But what I'm saying is that I don't care what's on it at this point. That money's spent. That money's gone. No one's going to really give up that money, okay? <laughs> that money's spent, dog. It's gone. Tweet, 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 tweet. Gone, right? So came up to a point where full pay, pay me. Give me everything. The other the deal's off the table. Um... It seemed like they're still going to use my services. So win-win. If they don't, I'm okay with that. But they said they were. And I talked to my contact after. And he said, yeah, you're still good, man. You know? He, you know, the owner picked a, 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 the wrong approach with the wrong person almost. Not almost. He did. So that's how I wanted to tell you guys. I'm tired. I'm, go, I'm about to lay it down. Uh, hopefully you learn from this, right? I thought everything was over, but now this finale, but I still got to go and do a job walk at one of the jobs on Monday. Uh, I'm supposed to get another check on Monday. So this is it's still not over, but I think this is the finale. I think it is, but we'll see. You know, as time sit with people over the weekend, sometimes people change. So we'll we'll see how that goes, but I'm happy the way things went. And I'm happy I didn't, you know, light up the whole office over there and kind of like really just, you know, piss everybody off, man. And I felt like I handled it pretty well. And, um, you know, in the end, I got what I, I need to get and I'm happy with the outcome. So tell me what you learned from this. Uh, uh, tell me if you if you feel this was a major twist in events. It would have been nice if I, if I could have recorded that. That, that would have been sweet right there. But let me know how you feel about it. Let me know what your take on it is. Let me know what you would have done. Let me know if this is right. Let me know if you 
if I should ever present it that first deal with him. Uh, let me know if I messed up by taking everything away from him and telling him to pay me everything. How do you feel about that, <laughs> right? Um, let me know. Leave me a comment, you know, let me know. And then you got some better ideas, school me. Give me those too. All right, my construction entrepreneurs, hustle hard, then hustle harder. I'm out. Like,